bullshit. Oh I do an extra IV for this. Hey, thanks for full housing with me, guys. I really appreciate it. You're welcome. I wasn't talking to you. So, you're going to keep your end of the bargain, right? One more full house top five. The top five full house moments people really want to see. You got it, dude. The top five best Michelle moments. <laughs> we can't let this happen. Get, Get him! him! It had to be done. Yep. yep. These are the top five worst episodes of Full House. Number five, back to school blues from season three. It's DJ's first day of school and boy is it exciting. Going to junior high for the first time can be intimidating as the oldest of the Tanner girls finds out. She's heavily embarrassed by upperclassmen and even goes to school wearing the same outfit as a teacher. Oh no! If that wasn't thrilling enough for you, Joey tries to teach Jesse how to golf in the backyard. So exciting! Do we know you? Duh! We only went to school together for the past six years. Kathy Santoni. Kathy Santoni? <laughs> you grew up. Big time. <laughs> what? They don't recognize someone they've grown up with because she grew boobs? How clueless are these people? Fashion seems to be a big deal in this episode. In addition to DJ dressing like her teacher, Jessie comes out in, I guess a golf outfit? <laughs> <laughs> yes, hilarious, because that is a much worse look than this. My personal favorite part of the episode is when Aunt Becky teaches DJ about makeup. The secret to wearing makeup is to make it look like you're not wearing any. Well, how do you do that? Yeah, how do you do that? <laughs> well, by bringing out DJ's natural beauty. For instance, you want a very subtle pink eyeshadow. Riveting. Number four. Tanner's Island from season three. What's worse than the Tanners in San Francisco? <laughs> the Tanners in Hawaii. The Full House gang flies to Hawaii for a vacation and hijinks ensues. After overscheduling their trip, Danny accidentally leads them to what they think is a deserted island. They argue a lot and eventually end up singing and dancing on stage because Full House. The only thing that's missing from this episode is an airline commercial. Northwest Airlines, with a proud new look, was pleased to provide travel to Hawaii for Full House. Northwest Airlines to more than 200 cities in 21 countries. Oh. Okay, time's up. Everybody out of the pool. <laughs> Not you guys. Ha, 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 ha. Joey is constantly seeing a hula girl throughout the entirety of the episode. Much like this sentence, it goes nowhere. <laughs> My girl! She's gone! And I'm alone! And I'm wet! I haven't seen one sign of intelligent life. Neither have I, Jesse. After being thought lost for a decent amount of time, the episode ends with the whole crew singing an Elvis song in front of a large crowd. The way she moves her hips up to her fingertips, I feel I'm heaven bound. Look at those moves! Number three, our very first telethon from season three. This episode is only 23 minutes, but it sure does feel like a 24 hour telethon. Danny is hosting the We Love Our Children Telethon to raise a million dollars for the Children's Health Center. He wants everything to be perfect, but plenty of things go wrong, including him doing his best impression of the audience and falling asleep during the show. Oh, Danny, you mind reader, you. This episode has it all. Comedy, a magic routine, a beach boy, cheerleaders. How could it go wrong? Very easily. They make me so happy, so happy as I can. Lollipops and gummy bears and good treats and we can share. I've rarely seen anyone that uncomfortable singing a song. I know one of the Olsen twins is right in front of you, but at least try not acting terrified. My favorite guy in any band is always the bass player, you know? 
He's a bass player. He's getting into his thing. Then he looks over and he sees the rest of the guys in the band and he smiles, right? He's like... <laughs> cut it out. I agree. Please cut it out. We've had enough. One of the Beach Boys also just shows up towards the end of the episode. They're like Full House's version of the Eagles in The Lord of the Rings. Whenever something's bombing, they throw a few out there to try and save the day. We did it! <laughs> Number two, Secret Admirer from season four. This episode is just one big kooky misunderstanding. Danny is dating a woman named Cindy who has an obnoxious son named Rusty. Rusty writes a fake love letter to DJ from the paperboy who she has a crush on. The letter is accidentally passed around the house from person to person until everyone thinks they're in love with each other. Then they all have a picnic. Just one big kooky, zany, wacky, loony. They get it! It seemed like at this point in the show, they tried to add the troublemaker, Rusty, as that extra character no one wants in a sitcom. But even Full House knew this was too much, and he only appeared a few times. Sorry, Mom, it was a long car ride. <laughs> okay, I'm lying. So. After Rusty writes the love notice the paperboy DJ likes, he gives it to Michelle who gives it to Stephanie. Stephanie thinks it's to her and is grossed out. Cindy then gets the note and thinks it's from Joey. From there it ends up in the hands of Becky who thinks it's from Danny, then it moves on to Kimmy who thinks it's from Jesse. Jesse finds the note in Becky's pocket and thinks either Danny or Joey gave it to her. Boring. DJ thinks Rusty gave Stephanie the note and tries to let him down gently, but she's interrupted leaving Rusty thinking DJ is in love with him. Joey then thinks Becky is in love with him when she confides in him that she thinks Danny wrote her the letter. Boy, this new kids on the block cologne really works. Becky then confronts Danny and gives him the letter which makes Danny think Becky's in love with him. Uh. Cindy then confronts Joey which makes him think she's in love with him. When Joey gives love, the note gives Toilet, paper, a coffee, pot, <laughs> then Kim We need a doctor! Stay with me, man. Cat Stay with me. Kate Stay with me. Silver Stay with spoon. me. Little boy blue and the man in the moon. And the number one worst episode of Full House is The Return of Grandma from season one. I think the title speaks for itself. When Danny's mother comes to visit, she sees that things aren't working out as well as expected with a sportscaster, a comedian, and a mullet raising three little girls. She brings in the other's mothers to get things back on track, but the three stooges don't want them there, so they have to do what they can to change their mommy's minds and blah 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 blah. This show sucks! The Return of Grandma is about as bland as it gets. The only thing out of the ordinary in this episode is that Jesse brings home a turtle named Bubba that he thinks saved his life. I love this amphibian. I love this amphibian. He loves that amphibian. I love that amphibian. It's a reptile, okay? The joke isn't funny. It's a friggin' reptile! <sighs> Just when you think it couldn't get any worse, we get a cleaning montage. I feel nice, like sugar and spice. Yeah. So nice, so nice. I, love you. I can't stand this. Why did we watch this show, America? Why did we watch this? Why? It's been going on and on for 30 years, and people still watch it. And now it has a sequel series on Netflix that people are apparently watching. It's already three seasons in. How is this possible? Why are we slaves to the Tanner family? Can someone please explain this to me? For the love of God, we have to do better. I'm sorry. I refuse to believe that humanity is this stupid. Everywhere you look, my fist will be in your face if I see you watching this show. What? When you're lost out there and you're all alone, I'll be there to take you down for watching Full House. It's just natural selection. If Mother Nature won't take care of it, I will. You hear me? I will destroy you all. None of you will be left standing. I will kill you. I will kill you. We want to hear what you guys think. Yeah, what's your least favorite episode of Full House? Leave a comment and let us know. Now if you'll excuse us, we have to go throw up for talking about this show for so damn long.